Hi everybody, this is Mr. Molino from Gainesville Middle School and I wanted to talk with you a little bit about our Enriched Science program and just give you some information about that, of how to apply, um, what is Enriched Science, that kind of stuff. So Enriched Science is a program that we started here at Gainesville Middle School about 10 years ago and students apply for the program uh, and I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. Um, but the way the program works is the curriculum gets compressed a little bit. So what's normally taught over say a 10 week period of time will be taught in an eight week period of time. And that gives us two weeks where we do different enrichment activities with the students. So each teacher has a specialty area and the students will rotate teachers uh, once they do enrichment with their own teacher and then two other times throughout the year, they'll rotate and do enrichment with the other teachers. So, uh, so for instance, in uh, sixth grade, the, the students had a two week enrichment with their normal science teacher in sixth grade. And then at two other times throughout the year, they rotated to the other sixth grade teachers science teachers and did enrichment with them. Uh, the same thing happens in seventh grade. Now our eighth grade students traditionally have not rotated the students. They still do some extension kind of things in eighth grade science, but they've, they've not rotated the students the way we do in sixth and seventh grade. So what kind of activities do you do in enriched science? So it, it's really up to the teacher. Uh, it is considered an enrichment activities. So we try to focus on hands-on kind of fun learning things kids can do to really expose those students who have a love of science to some additional science type things. So in sixth grade, we usually do, there's a, typically a lot of kind of STEM activities and STEM competitions. One of the teachers does kind of an abbreviated version of the science project. In seventh grade, this year we've done a forensics one so the students are doing a lot of things like uh, fingerprinting and they uh, they did DNA extraction and they did hair and fiber analysis under a microscope and those kind of things um, there's a dissection one or comparative anatomy one where the students have dissected uh, earthworms fish rats I think is the other one uh, so that's a good one for our maybe our future doctors or medical uh, kind of students who are interested in medical kind of careers um, the one I've typically done is a bridge building and design competition where students take uh, wood and make different kinds of bridges like this. And there are certain parameters they have to have. And then we, I put a bucket on top of it with weight and add sand. And usually they break. I don't, I, these two, I don't, maybe just kids didn't test or they didn't break. I don't know. This one would have broken, but I don't think he tested it. But anyway, um, that, that's kind of, uh, so, it's, so it's those kind of activities is what we do. Now, those may change, you know, as teachers change and some teachers elect to do other things. So we've done different ones than that through the years. Uh, but this year, those are the basic enrichment ones that we did in uh, sixth and seventh grade. And again, eighth grade does some kind of extension activities with that group of kids, but they don't rotate the students the way we do in sixth and seventh. So, the negative is, I would say, is that you know those students are missing the normal science class in order to do enrichment. So that entails, they may have to do some work outside of class. They have to be students who can pick up concepts in science quickly because they really enjoy the subject so that uh, they'll miss some of the practice and they're still responsible for you know the tests and the things like that. So really students should apply if they have a love of science and they can, and they can be successful in, in, in a more accelerated pace. Those are the students who should apply to this program. If, um, does it help you out or call it high school classes or anything like that? No, it's not the same as extended math or extended language arts. It's just a program we do here at our school um, to, to really cater to those students who have a love of science. Um, now, do students apply to the program? Yes, the way you get into the program is you apply as an incoming sixth grader. So if you're a current fifth grader, those are the students who apply. And that application process, I'll, I reach out to all the fifth grade teachers from our feeder elementary schools. I reach out to all the guidance counselors at our feeder elementary schools. And I try my best to uh, get the word out to all the incoming sixth graders um, that they have to apply. So that application I will send to all those fifth grade teachers and guidance counselors at your elementary school. So they'll have it. And you have to apply by May 8th. So May the 8th is the day that that will all close. And now we do look at when students apply, the application's fairly quick and simple. They're the only, the most difficult part of it is we do ask students to write about a one paragraph essay about why they love science. So that doesn't need to be a giant long thing, but you should be able to give that some thought and you know write something about that. Uh, and then we do look at teacher recommendations, which I'll reach out to your fifth grade teachers and get those. We also look at SOL scores in science on your fifth grade SOL. So I'll take a look at those too. So it probably won't be until typically the last week of school, sometime in early June, 
that you'll get a letter in the mail saying whether you've been accepted or, or, or not accepted to the program. And usually we get, it varies. I mean, we're limited to three classes. So, and the reason for that is because we rotate the students. So right now we have three sixth grade science teachers. We have three seventh grade science teachers. So each one of those teachers has one enriched science class. That way we can rotate the students amongst us. So it's not as simple as just, hey, let's just open up a fourth class because that, those class of kids wouldn't have anywhere to rotate. So we are limited to three classes of students. So that limits us to about 90, upper 80s uh, is usually how many applications we accept, how many students we accept into the program. And once you're accepted as, as an incoming sixth grader, you stay in the program for sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade. Um, and so normally we get, it varies. I'd say we usually get between 120 and 140 students apply, and there's about 90 slots. So just be aware of that, that it is a competitive program. Um, and we do look at your SOL scores, teacher recommendations, your essay, that kind of stuff. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, if you have any questions about it, you feel free to email me, uh, Manino, M-A-N-E-N-O-J-E, at pwcs.edu. And Mr. Menino is my name. Um, and again, my biggest advice to you is if you have any doubt or you think this might be something you want to do, then apply. Because what always happens is every year we get students who say, oh, I was, you know, I was coming to middle school and I didn't want to bite off more than I can chew, so I didn't apply. How do I get in now that I'm here? Well, now it's too late. Those, those 88 slots or however many students we accept, they're taken. So the way to get in is to apply as an incoming sixth grader while you're still in fifth grade. And you have to do it by May the 8th. All right, and I've never had a student in the last 10 years come to me and say, Mr. Nino, rich science just isn't for me. I want to get out of the program. That has never happened. But I've had lots of kids come to me and say, Mr. Nino, how do I get into this program? And I say, where'd you go to fifth grade? <laughs> yeah, so it kind of works out that way. So uh, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the applications come in soon. I'll try to reach out to all the fifth grade teachers soon. If you have any questions, like I said, email me. But when in doubt, apply. And that's Enriched Science in a Nutshell here at Gainesville Middle School. Thanks, everybody.